the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are warning people about a serious but rare condition that can cause paralysis, mostly in children. It's called acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM. Now, AFM isn't new. It's a condition that affects the nervous system, specifically part of the spinal cord. And it can be brought on by viruses, environmental toxins, even genetic disorders. What is new is that there's been a rise in the number of cases. The first surge was in 2014, then again in 2016, and now in 2018. And doctors aren't 100% sure what's causing this increase. So here's what we do know. The average age of patients with AFM is four years old, and over 90% of cases are in kids 18 and under. The most common symptom is sudden weakness or loss of muscle tone in the arms or legs. Some patients recover quickly, while others continue to experience paralysis. Now, some studies have shown a link between an increase in one common respiratory virus and the rise in cases of AFM. But more work needs to be done to confirm that that virus is the culprit. Scientists have ruled out a few factors, though. The increase in cases is not caused by the polio virus, and there's no link to vaccines. It's been found in both vaccinated and unvaccinated kids. The main thing to remember is that this condition is really rare. In fact, so far, it only affects one in one million children under 18. That said, if you're a parent, you of course want to do everything you can to protect your kids. So here's what the CDC recommends. If your child seems to suddenly have trouble moving their limbs, their faces or eyelids droop, or they have difficulty swallowing or speaking, go see your doctor right away. And continue to do what you always do to keep your kids healthy. Make sure your children wash their hands, stay up to date on vaccines, and wear bug repellent to prevent insect-borne illnesses.